In this video, we're going to add a print-only watermark to a PDF. First, open Windows Explorer, locate the document you wish to protect, right-click on the PDF, and choose Make Secure PDF. In the PDF Writer window, select the Printing and Viewing tab. In the Printing area, select Allow Printing. Then select the Print Watermarks tab. In the Text Watermark area, select the Add Text Watermark box. The text area now becomes live and is showing an example of a dynamic watermark. A dynamic watermark is a watermark that uses variables or placeholders as well as ordinary text. When a document is printed or viewed, these variables are replaced by user or system data by the viewing application. You can edit the existing example or create a completely new one of your choice just by typing in text and then adding variables by clicking on the Add System Variables button on the right. Here you have username, user company, user email, date and time, date and publisher. When you are happy with the design of your watermark, click the Font Settings button on the right. Here you have the option to change the font, font style, size, color, select a background color, or make the transparent background if you wish, or change the script. Once you're happy with font settings, click OK. Now we're going to select the opacity of the watermark. Anything from completely visible at 255 down to nearly invisible at 10. I'm going to set it about a third of the way. OK. Now we're going to select the position of the watermark by using the drop down. And here's the list of the positions that are available. We are going to select across the page for this demonstration. The final option is whether or not to add the watermark to the first page of the document or not. To not add it, check the box. To add it, leave the box unchecked. Why would you use this option? You may wish to select this option when the first page of the document is a cover page or perhaps for presentational purposes. Finally, click the preview button if you want to see what the watermark will look like when the document is viewed. Here you can scroll up and down through the page using the scroll bar on the right and look at the different pages by using the drop down the top right corner. As you can see, the watermark is showing across the page. OK, when you're happy with that, close the window and select Publish. The protection status window appears and shows that the protection status has succeeded. Click OK. The newly protected document appears in the folder just beneath the original PDF. Please note it now has a .pdc extension. This is now a protected PDF file, which can only be opened and viewed with the Locklizard Secure PDF Viewer. If we double click on the document, the Safeguard Secure Viewer will open and load the document. As the watermark was set for print only, it does not show in the normal document view window. However, when we press the print icon, the standard print window opens where you can change any printer settings accordingly. And also we can see in the bottom that the watermark is showing across the page. When you're ready, click print. On this occasion, I'm not going to click print. I'm just going to say cancel. When you're finished, close the viewer, close Windows Explorer. 